study the important topic of the isolated DC-DC converter. The beginning of this of the lecture, uh, a couple of months ago, we studied the uh, DC-DC converters, the not isolated ones. They are very important and uh, interesting in many applications, but, but the isolated DC-DC ones are, uh, are also a large uh, piece of uh, a large bunch of the market and are important in, in a large number of applications. Uh, this lecture will be organized more or less like uh, pointed out in, the, in, in this summary. We will briefly um, talk about the problem and uh, advantages of the isolated conversion. Then we will present the flyback converter, the forward converter, and we will also study a bit the transformer. Again, you should know it, but we will uh, see it uh, in the view of SPICE implementation that, it, that is not so straightforward in many, in many aspects. What would, do we know now regarding the uh, conversion scheme when we need, uh, in this case, uh, a regulated DC voltage and we want to connect to the main grid uh, that is uh, uh, AC voltage, 230 volt, a, a volt AC. Uh, the basic scheme that we can use is this one. We have the main grid here. Then we need a transformer. Uh, the transformer is uh, needed because we need galvanic isolation. In principle, we could work without the transformer. You could use uh, the rectifier, the bridge rectifier, or any other kind of rectifier here. At the output, you will have uh, a not regulated DC voltage and quite high voltage DC. It's not important, however. And then you can use a DC-DC converter to obtain the regulated DC voltage that you need. A properly designed feedback checks and measures the DC voltage here and activates the DC-DC converter in order to get a regulated and controlled DC voltage here. This is the basic scheme that we studied with the addition of this transformer. As previously said, this transformer is needed for galvanic isolation, first of all. It's a security measure. The user, that is the ear, is never directly connected to the main grid with the huge power involved. And for safety reasons, this is very important and required from, from many regulations and rules. There is also another important aspect. The transformer has a, a turn ratio, and uh, there is a, a ratio between this voltage and this AC voltage here, that is the first form of uh, voltage conversion. You can decide if you want to amplify or uh, reduce the voltage here. And this will uh, reduce the stress on the DC-DC converter. As an example, it would be very difficult to get one volt regulated DC voltage at this output. If here I will find a 300 volt unregulated DC. You could use a buck converter, but the duty cycle must be very, very small. And it is possible that this very small duty cycle is, uh, is unfeasible with the power devices that you have. It's much better if you can get a, an initial reduction of this voltage from 320 volt AC to maybe 50 volts, and then use the DC-DC converter to get the final one volt regulated vo one volt. There is more freedom. Negative voltage are possible, negative voltages are possible, for example, and again, more the same freedom. There is a new design variable. 
in the initial design without the transformer you can only change the duty cycle more or less the other components are more or less fixed in this second case you have another design variable that is the transformer ratio and the duty cycle this will simplify or allow uh, allows more flexibility and maybe more efficiency more security to the entire design disadvantages first of all weight cost and dimension of the converter system this transformer is very big uh, the transformer can be very simply seen to react as the coupling of two inductors uh, the, the reactance of the inductors will be proportional to the to omega and to to the, the, the impedance will be proportional to the um, uh, frequency and to the inductance of the transformer but since the, the frequency the omega is very small 50 hertz 60 hertz you need a very large inductance in the end these transformers are very big we are talking about uh, 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters cube, something like this. They are very big, they are expensive, their weight is large. Is there a solution? In this scheme, there is no solution because the input frequency is 50 or 60 hertz. The only solution could be increasing the frequency at the input of the transformer in order to increase omega here and reduce the inductance how is it possible to implement this scheme this improved scheme it is necessary to use an isolated dc dc converter this is why these isolated DC DC converters are so important. In the new scheme, you have the AC main grid voltage directly connected to the rectifier, bridge rectifier in this case. Here you get a not regulated DC voltage and you use an isolated DC DC converter that in some way contains a transformer. There is always the feedback that will regulate the DC voltage here. Advantages. All the ones that have been mentioned before. Galvanic isolation still present. The sign flexibility is still present. Uh, se second design variable still present. And further, this transformer can be designed and can work at much higher frequency we are talking about uh, kilohertz hundreds hundreds of kilohertz and this means that th this transformer can be very small and lightweight this can also improve the conversion the conversion efficiency are there disadvantages mm, maybe yes maybe not the design is more complex. Yes, it is true. This is more complex than, uh, than a, a not isolated DC DC converter, but the, the advantages are so big. Difficult cross regulation. Sometimes these uh, converters have more than one DC output. Maybe there is some complicated cross regulation if you want to regulate more than once, but this is not a real disadvantage this, this, year, this year complication let's say that comes with an advantage that is more DC regulated voltages at the output in the end the isolated DC DC converters are a very good solution for this problem and they are everywhere you you there are isolated DC DC converter in the power supply of this notebook the, the box that we have that in the 
in, the, in recent years have, have been, uh, have seen their dimensions reduced from a box like this to very small boxes. There are uh, isolated DC-DC DC converters in the uh, supply voltage the, that we use for these uh, smartphones. They are small like this. And there, there is a transformer inside. And it's not possible to get that trans transformer at 50 Hz. They are mo work at much higher frequency and this is why they are so small and they are so light. Uh, this also means that they, uh, they have very large efficiency, otherwise they would become hot and would melt. And this means that in this area there has been a large improvement in performances.